Hello internet people and welcome to this second video of my diary. Today we're going to see a game, my game. And today I'm going to show you part of my game, my menu. But before of that, I'd like to invite you if you are developing a game and using Click Team Fusion. I'd like you to visit Almighty Zentaki. You can find a lot of tutorials, nice things there. And it's really helpful. So, let's start with my video today. Today I'd like to show you my menu. Here it is. It works quite nice. Now I have an option. Like you see here, <laughs> there are a lot of new voices. I worked on some of them. And obviously, like you see, there are new keys. I made this option volume. And I can make my game full screen. I can remake it obviously in window screen. Like you see, there is no sound feedback for the player when he is in the sub in the sub menus. To make that, I'm just going to add some some sound when you press the arrow keys. Let's start with the play button. I'm just going to add some play sample, and I'm going to use. Play solution. Now it should work. Let's give it a try. I, I think that we are in the like you see the play button. It's done. Let's go to the option button. Now the next thing I'd like to add is some animation. Like you see in this old menu I had. Now like you see I'd like to add this stuff that you are in the same button and you can play the animation and get the sound. To make that I have this little screen event here. Like you see. Ah. I have this thing because there are four events you have to on, on the stuff. So to make that, let's go to the play button, copy this command, paste. I'm going to copy this too and just get the otherwise and get the other arrow key. So now it's going to play the sound obviously but it's going to set not this not this we're going to set the animation now just going to no and i'm going to force this frame change frame to zero yes then i'm going to add here other stuff like restore frame no, not a restore animation sequence, restore frame. Restore frame. Then change animation. Change animation sequence to A. And start animation. Start animation. Now, it should work. By the way, let's just drag this to here. And I've done both of them, I hope. Let's try it. Play. And it's working. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just add this stuff here to the other stuff. Like you see, I have five folders here that are one for each button. And let's try to find out the other stuff. Option one.
Okay guys, it's been a long time <laughs> I've been working on this thing just because stupid stuff I made. Um, now, there are lots of these, these are all working. It's all working and that's all. <laughs> Basically that's all what I've done today with you because I still work on the, on the thing. So guys, thank you again and see you on the next video. See you. Bye.